Hi, I'm Miki Tebeka, and welcome to our video series about interfaces in Go. This time, we're going to talk about how to keep your interfaces small using type assertions. So the story goes like that. You have a logger. It gets a destination, which is an I/O writer. And when you log, you write to this writer. And you also have a test. You can run the test and see that we're okay. But now you get a requirement. And the requirement says that if the underlying type under the IO sync, sorry, under the IO writer is supporting sync, you should call the sync immediately so we can see results. And now you're facing with several options. One option is to create an interface. So write syncer, which is an interface, and then it embeds IO writer, but also there is a sync method with a possible error. And then you can change the destination to be write syncer. And this is going to work now, but if you look at the Go proverbs, it says the bigger the interface, the weaker the abstraction meaning less types can be used now as a destination to our loggers. Only types that have both write and sync are supported. And you'd like to keep your log as versatile as possible. So we're not going to do that. What we are going to do is we're just going to write a syncer interface and then say that we have a syncer here. And now we can say that if and then we want to say, does the IO, does the type behind W implements IO seeker? Right, and now here at the end, we can say if L dot S does not equal nil, L dot S dot sync. Sorry, this one should be log. Okay, now we're good. Okay, let's run the example. And we're good again. The problem is that now every time when someone calls info, we have an if statement, which is something we don't like. We prefer to do it unconditionally. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to create another type, which is nop. Nop is short for no operation sinker which is just an empty struct and this knob sinker is going to implement the sinker interface by returning nil every time right so now what we can say is that s is a knob sinker Let's run the test and it passes again. This time we don't have the if statement on every call to info. Right, I didn't take these ideas, or I didn't invent these ideas by myself. The HTTP package, for example, is the HTTP flusher interface, which if a response writer implements that, that's the W in all of these handlers, it means you can do streaming output. And the IO package has a no closer, which gets a reader and return a read closer, which implements both IO reader and IO closer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.